Hi there, everyone. It's your host, Preston. And I'm Haley, the other host. Let's kick off today's reel with our first story, the 2022 Lip Dub. Decorating for Lip Dub is in your third hour class and will start April 28th. All teachers have access to the route and song list, so make sure you use your song as inspiration. Lip Dub is taking place May 5th, and the overall theme is Disney Channel. The Oklahoma musical is this week. Our drama and choir club have been working on it very hard. So let's hear from the production team and how it's been going. We usually begin by having auditions like in December and we choose like the roles then and then we start after Christmas break and we start kind of getting everything together. You know, it really just kind of kicks in around March and stuff, so yeah. So our first audition will be a, a vocal audition where we go in with a solo and it's about like two minutes long and then we uh, sing and then we have callbacks and then we'll read part of the script. And that's when the directors really get to see you in that role and decide whether or not uh, you're fit for that role. Oklahoma is a play based on the actual play uh, Green Grow the Lilacs, which was written by Lynn Riggs, you know, the street. Um, <laughs> and it's kind of a love triangle, of course, of a play. And so you have two people fighting for one girl, and then you have two people fighting for another girl. And it's just a beautiful thing. It just shows, like, character development, how much people, like, change, and how they fall in love and it's just, it's a beautiful play. So the qualities of a good play, I think um, are like the people in it and the people involved and how much they're putting into the play, like the community behind it. And if we have like a good relationship with the, all the cast, the stage managers, the directors, then you'll really get to see that shine through, uh, through our acting and singing. And as long as we're like, friends and a big huge family behind the scenes then the show will be amazing no matter what in other news sports this week we have stories about golf soccer and i interviewed logan kelly about his bmx racing i feel like our season went uh, fairly well considering the fact that we lost four games but it went a lot better than most of us thought it was fun um kind of sad that you realize you're not gonna be able to do this next year and that your soccer season's over and it kind of makes you realize how, how close you are to being an adult and being on your own. Uh, it went pretty good, better than last year, but uh, wish we made playoffs. Uh, I've been working on my short game, long putts, like lag putts, uh, working on trying to get my driver down and just multiple other Long irons. Uh, try, going out and trying to play as much golf as I can or just trying to putt or chip or hit range. To prepare for regionals, I've been helping out G Woods. I'm his caddy. Gotta help him carry those clubs around. Sometimes I can shoot in the 70s, sometimes I can shoot 80s. Just depends. I am Logan Kelly and I am a BMX racer. I've been racing since I was about 12. I started racing BMX because I'd, I'd enjoyed riding bikes as a little kid and making my own ramps and stuff. So whenever we found a track close to the house and tried it out, I just fell in love with it. I used to race motocross whenever I was little and it got too hard to go to the track. So BMX was the next best thing that was close to home. In total, I've probably done 150, 200 races. How I prepare for a race is just stretching out before I take a lap. So standing behind the starting hill is whenever I'll stretch my legs and back and stuff. I have won about 30. My favorite place to ride is the Hardesty National Headquarters. They just built it in Tulsa and they plan to host nationals there this May that I will be attending. Usually on the way to the BMX track, I'll stop at McDonald's and get a McChicken or two and a Dr. Pepper. Tyler also managed to get in touch with the band about their San Antonio performance. The band did very well at contests. They got straight ones at uh, the Blue Bonnet Festival in San Antonio, Texas. In music ratings, one is the best you can do, which means superior. Uh, if a band gets a two, that means they did uh, excellent. If a band gets a three, that means that they did good. A four is fair, and a five is poor. So they got straight ones from all three judges, which means that all the judges 
agreed that the band gave a superior performance. I think for me, the favorite part of the trip was when we got to tour uh, downtown San Antonio, getting to see the Alamo and even going up to see Miss Conception and uh, the River Walk and then going up to the, uh, to the Tower of the Americas. Uh, for this trip, I think the thing that made me the most proud was that when we were checking out, uh, one of the, uh, the hotel staff stopped me after you guys got on the bus and told me that you guys were the, the, the best behaved group they'd ever had in the hotel. And that just made me proud that, you know, we raise kids right here in Claremore and you guys don't embarrass us when we go out in public. On this week's episode of Principals Try, we have our very own Mr. Grisham giving robotics a shot. Let's see how we did. I'm Isaac Reedy. I'm the team captain and driver for my team, and our team number is 9142C. Aaron Grisham, assistant principal for 11th and 12th grade. So we're going to do a, I'm going to show him how to use the controls for the basic driving of the robot. And then I would do a skills run, which is a one minute timed interval that we have to sc score as many points as we can. And then once I finish with that, I'm going to hand it over to him so he can try to see how many points he can get. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, uh, so let's get started. You can go forward, okay. and forward, and backwards to go backwards, and then you can turn it right or left to turn. Okay, it. yes. And then for the arms to lift up and down, you can use these buttons right here. Okay. And then this one lifts up the arms, and that one makes them go down. Got so it. Kind of reverse. Okay. And then the front claw, you just use the X and the B right here. And the B makes it spin okay. on the clockwise, and then this one spins it the other way. Okay. And then for the back claw, it's with the other side to where to to make it go up. You use the same one as right here, but except on the other side. So it can go okay. Up. And then down to reverse it. So it's basically just. Okay. Reverse. I'll do my very best to remember all that. Okay. <laughs> Whenever you're ready, you can press A. Okay. I'm going to have to get used to these controls, but let's do it. So, oh, okay. That's weird. Okay, okay. Okay, all right. I, <laughs> Yay! I'm hung up! <laughs> this is hilarious. Okay. It's definitely not like... It. You think it would be. Yeah. You know? I missed it. Am I out of time? That's it? Yes. That's all? I scored zero. That's awesome. <laughs> well, that was an epic failure on my part, but I'm glad someone else is really good at it. <laughs> Great work. Thank you. <laughs> I gotta say, that went about as I expected. I think you did all right. Great job, Mr. Grisham. Seniors, we have a lot of upcoming events for all of you. Yeah, it's been pretty busy for our class. Rachel and Chloe got more info on Grad Bash and Spring Fling for us. Grad Bash this year will be held on Sunday, May 15th. After graduation, uh, they will students will load the buses at the parking lot at the football stadium at 10.30 p.m. Um, they will be um, bused to Incredible Pizza, which is where Grab Bash is going to be held this year in Tulsa. There will be some prizes. They have, uh, I believe, some mini fridges for dorm rooms or apartments, or um, they've also have QT and Amazon gift cards. And they will be posting some pictures around the school, probably the end of this week or next week, with some of the uh, bigger prizes that they will have available. 
it's a very, uh, maybe the last time your class is all together except for at class reunions, and of course not everybody comes back for their class reunions, but it's a fun evening of um, just spending one last hoorah with your class. Well, that about rounds it up for this week, but before we close it out, we just wanted to shout out anyone taking upcoming AP tests. Get some rest and eat a decent breakfast and you'll do just fine. On that note, it's time to close it out. Have a great week, CHS. Go, Go Zebras! Zebras! <laughs>